Well, hi, in today's tech tip, I want to take a look at an issue that a lot of times new users will get confused about, and that has to do with the display of different kinds of reference geometry. Uh, sometimes I'll look at a user's model and I'll see all kinds of reference geometry like origins and axes and planes showing up on their screen and I'm wondering if maybe the user just doesn't understand that they can turn those things off uh, as desired. And this is done very easily through the hide show items icon on the heads up toolbar. It's also accessed through the view menu. What you need to do is just drop down the hide show icon items icon and you can see various depressed buttons for items like planes, temporary axes, origins, sketches and so forth. And uh, in order to turn off the origins for example you just need to unclick that and what's nice about this command is that it stays open so that I can deselect multiple items and so it's just a very quick way that I can clean up my display from unwanted reference geometry items. Now, another interesting behavior about the hide show items is that think about this like kind of like a master switch. So, for example, if my view planes button is depressed, that doesn't mean it's going to show all the reference planes in every part in every model. What it means is it's showing all of the reference planes that are set to a shown state. Now, what that means is if we look at one component in the Feature Manager tree, let's look at this part called Housing. If we expand that and look at the Feature Manager tree, notice how the front plane has a yellow icon, while the top and the right plane have uh, more of a transparent icon. This indicates that the front plane is in a shown state, while the top and right planes are in a hidden state. So regardless whether the hide show items is set to show planes, if a plane is set to a hidden state in its feature manager tree, that plane will not be visible. Now if we were to take the top plane, for example, click on it and set it to a shown state, it now becomes visible because that plane is set to show and under the hide show items, reference planes are, are set to be viewed. I can then quickly turn off all plane display just by clicking on the view planes item in the hide show items uh, menu drop down. So it's very important to distinguish between turning things on and off globally versus being able to turn items on and off locally in an in individual part or assembly. One last command that's, uh, that, that is kind of related to uh, the hiding and showing of items is under the view menu the hide all types command. If you enable the hide all types command this will, sh this will hide every kind of reference geometry that you see here and you will notice when I go back to the view menu that all of those items are grayed out. Now this is pretty useful in a very complex part or in a very large assembly where you may want to just turn off in bulk all the different types of reference geometry. So if you ever encounter a situation where you're not able to display planes, axes, things of that nature, just take a quick peek under the view menu and make sure that hide all types is not inadvertently selected. So that's a quick look at the hide show items command in SOLIDWORKS 2010.